Okay, so the goal here is to replace anywhere where this silver color is used with a 10% of this particular color. These here are tint swatches, and this is here a spot color that's being used. And we're going to use the recolor artwork to do this. Now, of course, one of the issues that we have from a time perspective is that the recolor artwork feature forces you to actually unlock and select all of your artwork. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create an action to do all that for us. In fact, we'll create an action that will do everything for us except the final color swap, which will make life a lot easier for everyone. So the first thing I'll do is with the swatches panel open here, I'm going to start creating a new action. I'll call this one Recolor Art. You can assign a keyboard shortcut for it. Right now, I'm not going to. I'm going to click on the Record button. So we're now recording. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the Layers panel, go to the Flyout menu of the Layers panel, I'm going to choose to unlock all layers. Next, I'm going to come over here back to the actions from the actions flyout panel. I'm still recording now. I'm going to choose to insert a menu item. And I want to go ahead and choose edit, or I should say object, and then choose unlock all. Now I'm going to click OK. So my action so far is basically unlocking all layers and then unlocking all objects now inside of my document. Now I'm going to go to the next step, which is I actually want to go ahead and select everything. So again, I'll select now again another insert menu item and I'll choose from the select menu to select all click OK again now my action will go ahead and select everything then I actually want to recall the artwork finally I'll insert one more menu item and I'll go to the edit menu choose edit colors and then choose recolor artwork click OK and now I'm going to stop the recording of my action so my action is now going to basically once my document is open it's going to unlock the layers it's going to basically unlock any objects in my document it's going to select everything, and then it's going to kind of launch the Recolor Artwork um, button. So for this document here, I'm just simply going to go to the File menu here and choose to Revert, and go back to the original state of this document right here. Zoom out. Let's take a look at this. All I need to do now is simply click on the Run button for this particular um, action. Again, if I had assigned the keyboard shortcut to this action, it would be just one keyboard shortcut, but I'll just play that action. Everything became unlocked now. Everything became selected, and now I'm left with the dialog box here. Now it's important. Do not go anywhere near this. There's no reason to change any of the options here. So ever, this by itself, this color will be remapped uh, to itself, and it's going to maintain all the tin colors. So don't adjust or change anything here. All we want to do is we want to change the silver color to use a different uh, color, which you already have a swatch defined for. So what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and double-click on this area. I'm going to choose Color Swatches. I now want to change it from Pantone 877 to this 10% tint swatch. Click OK. It's done. Now click OK, and that's it. Don't go anywhere else, and now it's done. Now, we mentioned before that now if I want to go back to silver, we didn't lose anything here inside of Illustrator. What I can do is, again, I can go back to the recolor art. I have everything still selected. I can go back to recolor art, and notice what's happening here is that this is a single color right now, but there are three different tints of that single color being used in my document. But if I wanted to just recolor this one tint back to a regular solid color again, it's very easily done. I'll come down over here, and I'll choose to add a new color row. This is now an empty color row that I can work with. I can now take this one tint here and drag it to its own row. I can now remap just this one tint to anything that I want to. If I double click on this again, color swatches go back to the 877, click OK, and I've now basically gone back and I've turned whatever was a 10% swatch before back to now the silver color that I've created. I can go either way that I want to without any issues whatsoever. So hopefully that was somewhat helpful. Let me know if you still have any problems after that.